Hi, this is Graham Armfield from Coolfields Consulting. This video is the second in a series of videos I've created about using Dragon Naturally Speaking voice recognition software. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of using Dragon Naturally Speaking. Assuming you haven't configured Dragon Naturally Speaking to run automatically, the first thing to do is to start the application. So let's do that now. If more than one profile has been created on the machine, you'll see a panel pop up asking which profile you'd like to use. You'll notice that there are two here. My main one, Graham Armfield, and another one called Graham Noisy. I created the second one because I discovered that sometimes Dragon Naturally Speaking is quite sensitive to noisy environments, whether that's in an office or when giving a presentation. So I created the second profile in a noisy environment and now, if I have problems using Dragon Naturally Speaking when I'm giving a presentation, I can switch to the noisy profile and usually Dragon responds better. I'll be covering creating the profile in more detail in another video. But now, I'm just going to go with my normal profile, which is currently highlighted here. So just click on the open button and the application loads the profile. It can sometimes take a little while for Dragon Naturally Speaking to get going. And here we are, it started. The first thing you'll notice is that a tool strip has appeared across the top of the screen. This tool strip can be configured to appear in a number of different locations, but I prefer it up here at the top of the screen. The tool strip contains a number of menu links over on the right hand side that give you access to all the various controls that you may need. Over here on the top left is an icon that shows you the status of the microphone. That is whether or not Dragon Naturally Speaking is listening to what you're saying. When I start Dragon Naturally Speaking on my machine, the microphone is not enabled by default. That's indicated by this red icon. When I click on the icon, it turns green, and now Dragon Naturally Speaking is actively listening to my headset microphone. As I'm speaking, you'll notice that there is an approximate representation of the microphone volume in the panel, just to the right of the icon. To temporarily disable the microphone, use the command go to sleep. And now you'll notice that the icon has turned amber. To reactivate the microphone, I use the command wake up. And now Dragon is listening again. Over here on the right hand side, you'll notice I have this help panel enabled. I like to keep it here as it reminds me of the various commands that are appropriate for whichever application I'm using but you don't have to have it open all the time. So there we are. Those are the basic actions required to get Dragon Naturally Speaking working. Further videos in the series will cover opening and switching between applications and the various commands to use when browsing websites with Dragon Naturally Speaking. Mm -hmm.